Hello dear students, welcome to ECE Academy Benefactor. In this class we will be seeing conversion of T flip flop to D flip flop. Conversion of T flip flop to D flip flop. The topic is from sequential logic circuits. The subject name is digital electronics. So, what we need to do? We need to convert the T flip flop to D flip flop. So, T flip flop is given which is drawn here. Okay, so T flip flop is a single input flip flop, T is input, clock pulse negatively is triggered, so a bubble is there and the outputs are Q and Q n bar. For converting T flip flop to D flip flop, we need an excitation table to be completed, which is requiring four columns, input, input, present state, next state, flip flop input. Okay, so what is the input? We are converting T flip flop to D. So, now this D becomes the input. So, D is the input, present state is Q n, next state is Q n plus 1 and what are the flip flop inputs? That is single input, so it is only 1 that is T. To complete this table, let us write the binary combinations first for D and Q n. So, two variables, four possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, we need to write the truth table for D flip flop and you know it is very easy to write the truth table of D flip flop because whatever is at D is going to appear at Q n plus 1. What is D? D stands for delay. So, output is going to be same. So, D q n plus 1 will be 0 means 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, in this way we have completed q n plus 1. Now, we need to write the excitation table for T flip flop. For writing the excitation table, we need 3 columns that is q n, q n plus 1 and T. So, when a T stands for toggle, 0, 0, no change. So, T will be 0, 1, 0, there is a change. So, T will become 1. For 0, 1, there is a change of state. So, T will become 1. For 1, 1, there is no change. So, what it will be? No change means 0. So, whenever there is a change, T becomes 1. So, first we have written the truth table of D flip flop and then we written the excitation table for T flip flop in this way we completed the excitation table Why now we need to simplify the k map for this t variable. So, for simplifying the t k map we need to draw a two variable k map between uh, d and q n it is a two variable d and q n 0 1 0 1. So, let us fill this t what it is 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0. So, what is the grouping possible here? This one group and this one. For this one, we can write it as 0 1. 0 1 means d bar q n. And for this one, we can write this is 1 that is d 0 q n bar. So, what is the t equation coming to be as d q n bar plus d bar q n. This is the equation or we can simply write this is an XOR gate a b bar plus a bar b. So, we can write d XOR q n. So, t equation is coming to be as a d XOR q n. So, we can place an XOR gate here. an XOR gate. What are its inputs? One is D, another one is Q n. So, we need to darken this point to tell that it is connected. Okay? So, in this way we can convert a T flip flop to a D flip flop. I hope you have understood the class.
If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.